Zero Project presents The Basics, a series of brief educational introductions to accessibility and inclusion in print, video, and audio. Loaded with practical examples, The Basics delivers food for thought in an entertaining and accessible style. Artificial intelligence is here to stay. It promises new benefits to people with disabilities, but can also be a new kind of barrier. In this episode of Zero Project series, The Basics, renowned emerging technologies expert David Baines explains how AI can reduce barriers, what makes it tick, and discusses current and future risks and benefits. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is a machine in simulation of human intelligence. It seeks to imitate the ways in which we do things and think, but to do it through technology. Artificial intelligence can be understood as a branch of computer science dedicated to simulating intelligent behaviors in computers. We can rely on AI systems to analyze data and look for patterns in order to make predictions about future states. A good example is facial recognition. So many of us are using our faces to unlock our smartphones to identify who we are. And facial recognition works by looking at your features and the relationship between parts of your features and creating a digital ID based on those relationships. Another great example of uh, AI being used is in Amazon's Alexa. You can use Alexa now to order your shopping using only your voice. This has got great benefits for people who might find it difficult to use traditional technologies to point and click on a website. How can artificial intelligence help build a zero barrier world? We can see such significant applications in almost every part of our lives. Better health and social care, better mobility, better opportunities in employment and education, and probably better tuned entertainment. My daughter has autism, and this is her communication device. This is her voice. Want mommy to read it? Yes or no? Now through Livox, her confidence level is huge. She's gone from literally one word to having conversations with me with the device. She has just changed so much by using this device and people around her have noticed it. I joined Microsoft 10 years ago as a software engineer. I love making things which improve people's lives. And one of the things I've always dreamt of since I was at university was this idea of something that could tell you at any moment what's going on around you. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. How does AI work? At the heart of development of artificial intelligence is the gathering of data and using that data to automate and predict and anticipate what we want and need. The technology that undertakes that process are complex mathematical equations that are called algorithms. Algorithms are highly complex sequences of unambiguous instructions. But you can simplify that by thinking of them as recipes. One of the other key terms we think about is machine learning. But what is machine learning really? Machine learning is where the technology gathers information or data and uses that data to teach itself and to personalize and become more useful to any of us. Machine learning is an imitation of human learning. Traffic prediction is a typical example. By collecting and comparing data, the machine improves its accuracy through trial and error. How is AI changing the world? Two of the ways in which AI is helping us change the world lie in automation 
and prediction. And when we talk about accessibility and assistive technology, AI is making a huge difference to both. You'll see one example with automatic captions, which are generated by artificial intelligence when they listen to your voice. There is no way that we could ever have had enough human captioners to caption everything we said online during the pandemic. And the other big opportunity lies in prediction. And we're increasingly seeing assistive technologies drawing upon artificial intelligence to predict what we want to need and build that into our technologies. What are some of the challenges of inclusion in emergent technologies? These examples and others are really exciting as we see inclusion being built into emerging technologies. But we have to ask the question, what happens if it's not? Facing bias and discrimination is one of the central challenges to developing AI. One of the best examples of the anxieties about bias in AI lies in uh, employment practice and the use of artificial intelligence to screen candidates for employment. One of the challenges has been is with these big data sets based on average employees, those outliers, those people who are a little bit different, those people with disabilities, don't fit the patterns of perfect employees. And in that way, they can be discriminated when they put in their application. The importance of including data from people with disabilities in designing AI shouldn't be underestimated. Most data sets start by thinking about the mainstream, but there is a different approach where we start our design with the outliers. If we design and plan around people who are at the edges, then we include everybody within those communities as well. Putting the outlier first pays off. Alexander Graham Bell wanted to find a solution for his hearing impaired mother. He studied sound scientifically and eventually invented the telephone. On October 9th, 1876, Bell and Thomas Watson had the first telephone conversation in history. As soon as you hear the dial tone, you can start to dial the number. Here's the dial tone. This innovation got started as an attempt to help the hearing impaired. How might future inventions, inspired by the special needs of outliers, transform our world? So how do I feel about artificial intelligence in my life? It's going to be brilliant terrifying at the same time. Find more on the basics at www.zeroproject.org.